Eisenhower was instrumental in promoting legislation in the 1950s as he was president. And one particular uh, piece of legislation, the Federal Aid Highway Act of 1956 is credited with establishing the interstates. What it really did was establish a way for paying for the interstates. Uh, the idea of a national system of roads was going around as early as 1920. Uh, later in the 1930s, so-called interregional roads were promoted and began to be built. But there was always the question of how do you pay for them. One of the problems is that the federal government itself cannot build roads or own roads. The Constitution simply doesn't authorize that. So the federal government, uh, but the federal government can pay for roads. And uh, the federal government set up a system whereby they would share with the states mainly the cost of building the roads. In fact, in some cases, they shared as much as 90% of the cost, which is a great incentive. There is a plus to this, of course. Uh, by having the federal government involved, uh, there is a standardization from state to state, which, which means that when we cross a state line, we don't have to readjust to a different set of rules, a different set of geography, a geometry of, of roads, and, and so forth.